Hello students, I am going to show you quickly how to go through the Moody Library's uh, homepage and get to the, the database called JSTOR. For most literature or English classes, your professors are going to talk a lot about JSTOR, so we're going to show you how to use that. Okay, so we're going to go to the library's homepage. So let me go ahead and type in hbu.edu forward slash moody. And just for fun, I'm going to try something real quick before I enter that. I want to know what happens when you search that in Google. Um, okay, it went ahead and went, but I've seen before where um, it has just given you several links to try. This is what it should look like uh, when you when you find the right page, okay? Um, you could also type in hbu.edu forward slash library. Okay. So let's scroll down and let's go down to the databases, the nine boxes at the bottom of the page. Okay, so continuing down, you see now the nine boxes. And we're going to go ahead and click on the databases. And then we're going to scroll down. Now, there's all these other links up here at the top that you can actually go over and click on. Like you go straight to Literature, Language, and Communication. And you can see that JSTOR is listed. Let's see, where is it listed? Um, these are recommended databases that you can try. For now, we're going to use JSTOR. And huh, that's weird. I would think it would be over here under Literature and Language, but it's actually here under JSTOR under the Quick Links to General Databases. So let me go ahead and go there. Let me see what this more says. The currency of journals will greatly vary by publisher. Some journals date to the 1800s and are nearly full runs except for the most recent issues. If you need more recent issues, use citation and interlibrary loan request form. Okay, JSTOR is just one of our databases. So if there's something that, that you find here, maybe a link to um, that's not full text, remember JSTOR usually doesn't keep the um, most current five years. So the window is constantly moving. So like we're in 2020 now, so you might find a journal in there that goes all the way up to, let's see, that'd be 2000, what, 15 or so, 2016. It might go all the way up to those years, but it won't have the latest years. So remember that we may have another source that actually goes further, another database that goes further. So just remember that when you're in JSTOR. Um, most of these are scholarly journals, but like I said, many could be brochures or trade journals or magazines, even something back in the 1800s or early 1900s. So I'm going to go ahead and go into JSTOR. I'm clicking on that. And when you go in from off campus, you will see a screen asking you to log in. You log in there the same as you would uh, with the portal. So it's your email and then your password, your HBU email. Okay, so this is a basic search in JSTOR, and I prefer to have the advanced search. So I'm going to click on the advanced search. And um, there's a lot of things that you can do in JSTOR. You might want to look around and see what's available, even on the basic side. Scroll down and see what's your, what you're offered. Um, but the main thing is, let's go ahead and say we want articles. We don't want book reviews. And let's go ahead and speak, uh, go ahead and say English. If you can read another language, uh, you might pick that. Um, and I'm not going to limit by dates, okay? Um, uh, I'm not going to pick a certain journal title or book title. You could put Frankenstein there, but I'm not going to do that. And you can also limit to um, certain journals by a certain discipline. So if you do decide to limit here, you would go down and then um, update your search screens right here. Submit your advanced search. Um, I don't like to limit by journal. You can if you want to. Um, so I'm going to go up here and I've, I've marked articles. Uh, let's see what else. Do I want anything else? Um, this search is a little bit different than other databases. It's it's only searching in certain fields. So every article has a field. Um, so let's say one article, all of them will have a title field, an author field, a subject field, a keyword field, um, a abstract field. JSTOR is a little bit different. It doesn't offer as many fields as you would see in other databases. Let's see what it offers. An author field. And that is not the author, Mary Shelley. You want something written by somebody else about Mary Shelley. Okay. Um, item title. You probably don't know at this point the, the title of the article. The abstract. You could ask for the words that you put in to be searched within the abstract. That's a summary of the article. 
and of course it's the caption for the uh, usually the images that are in the article so i leave it at all fields and for fun i'm just going to put in shelly and then i'm going to come down here and put in frankenstein now what this is doing is it's looking for everything with shelly could be even her husband or any shelly in the world doesn't matter who at this point when i link it together with frankenstein it takes that and it narrows it down so you've got one big huge bag full of everything shelly another bag full of everything frankenstein and it's going to look for articles that have both terms together and the record it's not even looking at the full text yet okay so i have it's defaulting to content i can access that's what you want to leave it at just so that you don't get frustrated and get something that doesn't have the full text now if you want to be of interest you could come and change that say all content and then if you can't get to it you whatever comes up you could actually interlibrary loan it as long as it's not a thesis or dissertation or something that's going to cost money and if you did we would we would let you know and kind of warn you in advance before we actually interlibrary loaned it so let's go ahead and say content i can access and then let's go ahead and scroll down and say let's see uh, what i want to sit hit submit okay submit the advanced search let's go ahead and do that now i have 1599 search results and if this database is pulling everything up um by let's see relevance i believe i'm trying to see where it is there it is sort by relevance so if i wanted to see like the most uh the newest articles written i could say hey give me the newest and it would rearrange them for me this was written in 2020 so i lied looks like there are some journal articles that are that go to 2020 but not all of them do okay here's another one that's 2019 so maybe there are some journals in here that are more up to date but if you come back and you say put it by relevance it's going to try to pick the ones that are close as possible to what they think you might want to read about and so the first one here is what day is that 2006 not bad and then here's some more um now listen um yeah so you're going to have to go through these and see which ones you want okay you can download the PDF and then you can look through it and see if you like it. Or you could, or is our, or is our abstract? I'm not sure these have got abstracts. I thought they did. Let me go ahead and click on this one, for example, the first one. This is the actual first page of the article. You'd have to download or go through each page to get through the whole article. Um, the other thing to note is if you print from here, you're just going to get that one page. You need to download and you need to or save the whole article to get the whole article. All right, to print it or to save it. All right, so here's a stable URL. Um, here's this helps you cite the item. Ah, here's your abstract right here. So you would read this right here and see if it's something you want, okay? And then you can decide whether you want to download it or um, share it or print it, whatever you want to do. I believe you have to make your own account for JSTOR to be able to save the articles. I haven't done that. I have done that with EBSCO databases, but this is not an EBSCO database. Um, you're welcome to try that out if you want to. You have to make your own login. Um, I believe you can do that um, on campus. Um, I'm not sure you can do it off campus, but try that out and see if you can. Uh, you can always email reference at hbu.edu if you have any troubles with that. We are currently experiencing an issue with search functionality loss of some of the content that would normally be in the results okay so that's good to know they're, they're telling you there's a little problem there but we did get a lot of hits for that for that uh, search okay so let me go back to the results right here in this small little uh, results right under JSTOR now look this is really cool you see how you got your search here and it's telling you Shelley that's the first line we, we typed in and Frankenstein, remember I told you it narrowed down, and that's the second um, search box. And then we limit it also to English, and then also it's telling you that there's different codes, I guess, for English that they used. Um, but now, let's say I don't want to go through 1,599 um, hits. I'm going to search within the results, and just for fun, I'm going to type in feminism, just to see if I get anything. Now, it could be or feminist. Uh, let's try that. 
and we're just trying to see what we can get. So I'm actually searching this one search right here, and then also with feminism, then it's searching the same search again with feminist, okay? So the or lets it actually do two searches at one time. You need to make sure that any ors that you put in are always in the same search box. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, let's see. Okay. Did it take it? Didn't look like it did. Okay, so you saw that I typed in feminist or feminism here. Now it's going to narrow it down. I think the reason that JSTOR has those questions up here is because it's not letting you uh, narrow down your search again. I'm going to see if I can cheat a little bit, see if I can get it. It's not really cheating, but see if I can add a search right here. So let's see. I'm looking at how they did this. And I'm going to type in the parentheses just like they have and type in feminism. Feminism or feminist. Close the parentheses and type in the AMD. You don't normally have to do this. I'm just trying to see if it works. And let's see if it kept all the parentheses where it should be. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, it did work. So there's sometimes some tricks that you can call us and we'll help you out with. Um, I just copied what they had done here. It's kind of like math. And put another search in here. This little box here must not be working correctly. Okay, so now we're down to 282, which is a whole lot easier to go through that than there is through, um, through uh, I forgot we had what, 1,500 hits, I believe. So you might want to look through these, and like I said, you can open this up. And then here's Motherhood, um, Custody Ballot, Battles, reading the sideboard in Mary um, Shelley's Frankenstein. If I go ahead and open this, let's see what we get. There it says Call the Feminist. And people uh, find out that her mother was a strong feminist. Okay. She wanted a woman's vote. Okay. I do not see an abstract with this article. Um, it is 11 pages long. You could download the PDF. Let's say I accept it. And then you can save it or you can... Um, I, would, I would probably just go ahead and save them. And then just here's your article that you can read and see if you like that. Okay, and that is basically how to use JSTOR. Normally the button to narrow down should work, but for some reason it wasn't, and I just used a trick um, to make it work, sort of. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that works for you, and I hope you will try JSTOR. It's a really good database. Thank you. I did want to point out to you quickly that I just went back to the results, and I see here that we limited earlier to articles and for some reason looks like it didn't keep that um, limit because over here on the academic content I see 279 journal articles and then three book chapters okay so if I limited to the book chapters just for fun see I was hoping it would tell me okay Cornell University Press that's that's something you could might could use because it's even though it's, it's in a book puts a chapter in that book and it's from Cornell University Press, and you're supposed to use academic sources, so that would probably be okay. But ask a professor. There's another one from the University of Adelaide. Adelaide, I don't know if you say it that way or not. Press, and then this is another article, and I'm not sure anything. Don't know about this one here. Um, you might ask your professor about that one. But anyway, this is very nice that we can limit that way and get back to um, just books alone or just go journals alone and go that direction. Like I said, most of these should be peer-reviewed scholarly journals. Um, so you might, if you have any questions, you um, might want to ask your professor. But uh, we limited to journals in JSTOR, like I said, is 98% um, scholarly. If you have a question about is it scholarly or not, you could go to the database called Serials uh, Directory. I think it's called Serials Directory. And then look at the record for the art journal and see if it says peer reviewed. Okay. I believe your professor is going to be okay with JSTOR. Um, just, just double check if you're not sure. Okay. And I hope you have an awesome weekend. Thank you.